Hello, and welcome to this Interstage X1 demo video. In today's demo, we're going to have a look at the word tagging feature that's available in Interstage X1. Now, this is a tool that you can use as an add in to Microsoft Word, and it allows you to um, take your Microsoft Word documents that may contain your financial statements or your balance sheet or some kind of report and be able to um, generate uh, XBRL data from it. So it allows you to do the tagging within the document, within the Microsoft Word environment itself, and to create an XBRL document that can be submitted to something like the SEC. So let's have a look at uh, Microsoft Word. We've got a sample balance sheet document open right now. Um, it contains some, some data. We'll notice that um, it's got data for the current year, 2010, and for last year, the previous year, 2009. Um, the data that's in here is represented in millions, so we have to keep that in mind when we want to um, make sure that we're outputting into XBRL correctly. So um, the first thing that we do is we want to associate this particular document with um, a template XBRL instance so that we can map and do the tagging to the appropriate context within that template instance. So um, from within the Microsoft Word environment, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to have a look at the add-ins. Now, I've, I've installed the Interstage XWAND add-in for Microsoft Word, and that allows me to, um, to see an X1 menu directly in the Microsoft Word environment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to import an instance um, and what I, my, I'm going to pick my instance document. Now X1 is reading that document, it's understanding all the taxonomies related to that document and so now it's it's done all that and it's loaded the taxonomy information in here. Now it's given me this window for the tag list um, I, I don't have any tags yet, so uh, this window has a list of e it's empty. But um, what I can do is I can say, okay, I'd like to start tagging my document. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to tag these um, this figure for assets. So I'm going to right-click here. I'm going to say Insert Tag. And what that does is it loads the information that was retrieved by Interstage X1 from the taxonomy. Um, now, I was picking that assets figure, so I'm going to pick assets from the taxonomy. I was doing the 2010 figure, so it's my current year, and the figure was in USD. So that's what I needed to do. Now, remember that we had the, the document was showing us in millions, so I need to put the scale as being 6 to make sure that I account for the fact that I even though the number was saying 40,000, it was actually 40,000 in millions, so I need to make sure that scale is set to 6. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to say, OK. What that's done is it's created a tag for me um, for this particular figure for assets for 2010. It's given that to me, and it's put it into the assets element in my taxonomy. Uh, and the context is the current year instance. So that's what I've made the tag for. We can see additional details about the tag out here, about the scale where we have the um, the six to make sure that we take into account the millions um, that this document refers to. So we've got one tag now. We can go about and make a, a second tag. We can say insert tag. Um, that was the cash figure. So we've got cash for the current year. It's in USD. And I'm going to OK that. So that's created a second tag for me. So that's how I would go through and manually create tags. Now I have the option to do an automatic tagging as well. So let me show you how to do that. Um, before I do that, I'm going to delete these two tags so that we can do a complete auto tagging. So I'm going to turn on the auto mapping feature. And what it's going to do is it's going to say select the label information. And so my labels are in here. So I'm going to say this column has got my labels. And now I'm going to say which is the column that's got my values. And the column with my values is right here. So that's that's the first column. I've got to put the marker in there. And I'm going to say it relates to my context for the current year. Um, the information is going to be in, in USD. I'm keeping that scale as being 6. And I'm going to say OK that. What it's doing is it's automatically going through. And it's tagged all of these figures in here. And it's created all these tags for me. So that's that's a way to, to make it a, a whole lot faster and easier for us to do automatic tagging. Now you'll note that this has only tagged the current year. It's only tagged the 2010 figures. 
the 2009 figures are not in there so what I can do is I can do the automatic mapping again um, I'll select my label column put my label marker there and now I'm going to select my value column and this time because the value is for the prior year I'm going to make sure I select the correct context it's USD it's still the scale of six and it's going to go through and automatically do that and so what it's done is it's created all these tags for me um, that I can have a look at if I need to now all these tags are maintained directly within the Word document this is not something where you're jumping in and out of different tools it's all stored within Word um, and what we can do now is if we want we can save this particular document um, so we can go uh, do a save as let's let's put it into this balance sheet with mapping and um, so that I've saved the information in the mapping now what can I do with this now I've got the mapping in there I've got the information in the document itself let's export an XBRL instance so that's as easy as it gets so what I can do is I can say okay generate an instance for me um, I'm going to make a folder for um, the output and uh, let's put my instance in there my balance sheet for the SEC and it's going to save it as XPRL so I'm going to save that it's run through it's generated everything and it's, a, it's going out there and saving the information so let's go have a look at what that looks like so here is my generated folder we can see that it's created my XBRL document for me it's, it's a ta associated with the taxonomy information that we've got so let's have a look at that XBRL instance for a moment we'll look at it inside the X1 viewer so when I look at it inside the X1 viewer we see all that information that was in my Word document has been mapped across appropriately we'll notice that the millions figure is coming through properly it's put it into the correct context this is the 2010 figure this is the 2009 figures so we have all this information in there automatically being created so it's pretty straightforward from Microsoft Word to do these taggings and then generate XBRL now if you want to use um, uh, level 4 tagging then you have that ability as well so for example if I wanted to go in here and say okay that particular figure I want to make a level 4 tag I can come in here and say insert a tag I can identify the particular uh, part of the taxonomy that I need to to associate that tag with and I can go forward and say map it and so it's just made a tag for this one and that's how you can do level 4 tagging so it's pretty straightforward pretty easy within this tool um, another capability that you have is also the ability to export inline XBRL so that's that's a slightly different format of XBRL but if you have a requirement for inline XBRL you can do that so what we can do now is let's save this document first and then we will generate the inline XBRL um, let's give it a location um, and it's like my inline report um, now it's going to generate it as a HTML file so it's going through and creating everything and it's uh, going to load it up into my browser so we're looking at it here and it's generated this particular uh, HTML view of my balance sheet but internally it's actually inline XBRL so this is something that's totally valid from an inline XBRL standard perspective this particular output so you have that ability to do that with Microsoft Word and 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 have it as a, a capability for generating so that concludes this demo of the word tagging feature that's available with Interstage XWAND that allows you to do automatic tagging in your Word document and generate XBRL documents from it.